What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like that video. Comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every week that I will be announcing on Sunday once again. So comment anything in the comment section. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not already. Go to greenlightdfs.com if you want to join the squad for the DraftKings cheat sheet or the full FanDuel or the full Yahoo. MLB has been an amazing season so far. It has been hot. I'm having a lot of fun playing MLB, man. It was time to switch gears and get off NBA and start really focusing on MLB. And you know how it is, like especially for me, I'm covering a sport so heavily all season by the time MLB started, I was ready for something new. You know, NBA was such a profitable, good season. We won so much and so consistently, but that didn't even matter. It was like, okay, finally we have a new sport to focus on, and MLB has been super, super fun. If you're new to MLB, trust me, okay? MLB is something four years ago I never even would consider watching on TV and now I'll watch any game that has a player of mine in it okay so trust me uh, MLB is really really fun DFS wise a lot of people sleep on MLB but MLB is the shit uh, for me personally NBA is at the top of the list when it comes to DFS okay the only negative with NBA is the lineup lock and the last the last minute fucking people getting ruled out that's the worst part about NBA but MLB the fact that you know everything come time, there's no last minute changes, like you're pretty much able to set it in stone and know there's not going to be any adjustments is one of the best things about MLB. So that definitely puts it about second for me. I love NFL too, but MLB and NBA are top for me in DFS. I absolutely love MLB. Let's go ahead and get straight into this high five, guys. Yesterday we didn't do a video. It was only a three game slate. The squad was able to get some money on that one too. The three game slate ended up being really well. It's playing right now as we speak, but... We're over 100, and it's a small slate, and we're in the cash, so it, it's a good night. Let's go ahead and start off now at point guard. First uh, pitcher I'm going with is Lance McCullers at 12-3. Most expensive pitcher on the slate, but for good reason, okay? It, it's a great matchup for him. I absolutely love him versus San Diego in Houston. Houston is a very pitcher-friendly ballpark for one. For two, Lance McCullers has good strikeout upside, and he limits hard contact. Okay, it's not like San Diego makes hard contact anyway. They're one of the worst offenses in the league. Lance McCullers is going to get 30-plus DraftKings points here. He is a very, very, very good option against San Diego, especially with San Diego rolling out Luis Perdomo. Houston is going to rock him. Okay, so not only will McCullers do good with the strikeouts and all that and limiting the hard contact and the runs, but he's going to get the W too. Okay, so I expect Lance McCullers to get that extra four at the end, too. Lock in Lance McCullers at 12-3. Next up at pitcher, I absolutely love Luis Castillo, another guy with high strikeout upside. Okay, Pittsburgh is one of those teams, they've been, their offense has been playing very well lately. Okay, but this Cincinnati offense has done very well versus Trevor Williams. I would expect them to run up the score on him here at home in Cincinnati. Um, I fully, no, sorry, not in Cincinnati, at Pittsburgh. Okay, I love this situation for Castillo. He's got the high strikeout upside. He's a very, very consistent pitcher too. Okay, if you look at his games from all last season, I mean, he consistently was getting you about 15 to 25 DraftKings points. Like you, he, he never busted and got negative or under 10. You know, he's very, very consistent. So I like pairing him with McCullers. Because Castillo also has some very high upside, and yet he's got the high floor too. So I've been going a lot with uh, Luis Castillo since I've been looking at this slate. Lock him in to the high five. At first base, I got some secret sauce for y'all. Obviously, a lot of people in this Toronto-Texas game, which is a very good game to get a, a involved in, by the way. It's warm out here in Texas, which allows the ball. I mean, it's always good to grab hitters in Texas. It's a small ballpark, and it's hot. Okay, the ball travels further in that heat, okay? It's a very good situation. Now, a lot of people are going to go Justin Smoke, who's 4700 He's a little pricey, though. I'm going to give you guys the secret sauce. At 2900 Kendris Morales against Matt Moore. I absolutely love him. Kendris kills lefties. 240 ISO and a 413 Woba. So he gets on base with a very high frequency against lefties. Expect Kendris Morales 
to bat in the heart of this order. And at 2,900, he's my favorite value on the slate. That price is super, super cheap. And against more, I'll take that discount and get some exposure to that Toronto team in this very hitter-friendly ballpark with Morales going against Matt Moore, okay? Morales also, he's got a limited sam sample size against Matt Moore, but this kind of shows you how he is versus lefties, okay? In his limited sample size, he has faced Matt Moore's five at-bats, okay? He's got three hits and a home run in those five at-bats. Zero strikeouts, He's got a 600 batting average versus him. I know it's a small sample size, but with the fact he kills lefties in, already in favor for him, he's got a good history versus this guy with power-wise. I mean, out of the three hits, he's got a home run being one of them. Okay, so I absolutely love Kendris Morales. He is great, great value. Let me go ahead and put him in here. I haven't even gone to Kendris Morales. There we go, 2,900. That price is ridiculous in Texas. That's absolutely ridiculous, all right? Next up in the high five, I'm going to spend up here. In the outfield, Aaron Judge at home in New York going against Guzman. I love him against Guzman, okay? Guzman loves to throw that fastball, okay? And what happens to that fastball when you're facing Aaron Judge, a guy who already kills righties, and then you're throwing something that he can just smack a million yards, Okay, it's a bad situation altogether, and Judge has a great history versus him, too. He's gone six of 12. Okay, three of those six hits were home runs and a 500 batting average. Aaron Judge hits for tremendous power against Guzman. I'm telling you, it's because Guzman likes to throw that fastball. Okay, that fastball. When if you're if you don't have complete control over it and you're putting it down the middle of the plate. You're going to get hammered, okay? I expect New York to absolutely just destroy the ball against him, okay? You don't want to throw a ton of fastballs down the middle of the plate against this New York team, okay? And that's what Guzman likes to do. So New York could really rack up the runs here at home. Him and Gary Sanchez have good histories versus Guzman. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with going Stanton, too. I love a New York stack. I really do. I like uh, D.D. Gregorius as well. He's been playing really well lately, all right? Last but not least in the outfield, I'm going J. Uh, I almost said JJ Redick. <laughs> Josh Redick. Okay, I love Josh Redick in the outfield for Houston to run back my love for that pitcher McCullers. I absolutely love Redick going versus Podomo, man. Redick has a good history versus him. It's a small sample size, just like Morales, five at bats. Okay, but Josh Redick destroys right-handed pitching okay that's something we know about Josh Reddick okay lefty on righty he destroys him 183 ISO and a 365 Woba I absolutely love Reddick um, he's been playing very very good as well he bats in the heart of this Houston offense order which I think will score a lot of runs so Reddick's going to be a part of that at 4,000 I absolutely love him like I said, in the small sample size, I mean, Reddick's got four hits out of the five at-bats for a home run and an 800 average. There's only been one time that he was at bat that he didn't hit, that he didn't get on base. Only one time, because he has struck out zero times. There's been one time out of the five times he's faced Perdomo that he did not get on base. Expect Josh Reddick to get on base a few times here in this one with that Houston offense rolling through that order multiple times. Reddick's going to at least see four to five at-bats. I love Josh Reddick here against Perdomo. Lock him in to the high five, and that's it, guys. Lance McCullers, Luis Castillo, Kendris Morales as the value play of the day at 29. Aaron Judge and Josh Reddick. Good luck, everybody. Go to greenlightdfs.com to get in on that DraftKings cheat sheet juice for those home run predictions, the article, the player pool, all that good stuff. Sign up for that full Yahoo and the full FanDuel. And let's get it, guys. Good luck, everybody. I hope you kill it. Comment down in the comment section to enter your name into the giveaway, as always. Like the video down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'm out.